SilentHeroFilms.com SilentHeroFilms.com We got a plot twist, y'all Let's see if I can get rid of that Nah, that's cool Plot twist Got a plot twist, y'all Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence Terrence Crawford and Canelo Now run PBC First, I want to say uh, congratulations to the Watson family for doing it again, raising money, bringing awareness to cancer in the holiday season, and uh, doing it for a great cause. They do it every year, whether they're giving away turkeys, playing basketball, huge asset to the L.A. community. Um, but Terrence Crawford was a toast of the town yesterday. I saw about three to five videos yesterday. And um, I realized that they were parading him around like Earl Spence. I mean, like Earl Spence, Deontay Wilder, Floyd Mayweather. <clears throat> and I'm here to tell you, I was right. Fred, you a hater. I was right. If a business is overspending, they can't last long. If they're taking risks and spreading themselves thin on 10 or 15 networks, it won't last. If if they say you're overpaying, it's not going to last. Al Heyman, PBC, is running a business. His bottom line, red versus black, supersedes his relationship with you as an individual. Case in point, Leo Santa Cruz named a child after him. He ain't fought in two years coming up in February. Keith Thurman opened up PBC. In February, he won't be fought in two years. Gary Russell and the Russell family fighting once a year. Gary fighting twice a year. The Charlos, 29 months. Jamel, 18, 19 months. It's about business. Sacrifice them for Canelo. Now, Canelo and Terrence Crawford are the king of PBC. And there's nothing nobody can do about it. He took Earl's spot. Yeah. Canelo took the Charlo spot. Yep. And um, they need that million-dollar pay-per-view between Terrence and Canelo and Canelo and David Benavidez. They need it. They need it. They need it. Ooh, they need it. Bad. And it will do well. I would pay for it. Invite a few friends over, watch it by the pool, relax, order some pizza and some wings and some ginger ale. How, how, how many ginger ale fans we got out there, man? Only Canada Dry, though. How many we got out there? <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to great grandma. Great grandma. Drink some ginger ale. It cures everything. Mom, it's process. Grandma, it's processed. They got 16 grams of sugar in it, grandma. No, it's healthy. Don't we miss grandma? You know what I mean? Miss grandma. Man. I ain't got no grandparents alive. Oof, as I digress. I'm Fred Adamas. Shout out to G. I'm Fred Adamas, man. I told y'all this day was coming. Oh, you a hater, Fred. And now what media got to do in order to cover PBC? Cover Terrence Crawford and Canelo. Earl ain't fighting for over a year. When he fight, July? He ain't fighting till at least August. Fred, how do you know? It's the business model. I run multiple businesses every day. In order to be successful as a business, you must be repetitive. You got to be repetitive. You got to be repetitive to keep your doors open. Yes, you're going to have peaks. You're going to have valleys. Yes. But in order to stay in business, this baseline got to be here. Yeah. So what's every fighter doing? They fighting once a year. I don't care what deal they get. Amazon Prime, Prime, Amazon, uh, Amazon Rainforest, um, whatever. Prime Ticket, LeBron is out of his prime, whatever, whatever they get. The business model is the business model. Ain't no money there. And the fact that they are uh, going to uh, um, 
I'm at the gym, as you guys know. And when you go to a private gym, everybody knows each other. They wave like it's cheers. <laughs> <clears throat> but the point I'm going to make is I was right. I told you they were going to devalue Earl Spence. Go watch my videos. I told you they were going to devalue him, but you didn't believe me. Call Al don't work. Mm -mm. You got to make Al earn every dollar. Just like I make every real estate agent own every dollar. Oh, I got to deal. No, 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 no. Show me the bottom line. No, no. Bring me a deal. I'm not signing with you. Bring me a deal. Bring me a deal. That's it. You know I'm an investor. If you've done business with me, you know what the money look like. <laughs> you know I can get approved for any loan. <laughs> Bring me the deal. But y'all go ahead and have a beautiful day. I just thought I'd bring this to y'all attention. Fred was right. Excuse me, Fred Adamas. Shout out to G. Fred Adamas was right. And it's not even being Fred Adamas. It's just that running a business. I know how to run a business successfully. Ever since y'all have known me, I've been in business. <laughs> yep. Hiccups, yes. Stayed in business, though. Mm-hmm. Y'all go ahead and have a beautiful day. Um, <clears throat> we'll have more news on Burroughs' head coaching situation. Uh, then just as they did to my head coach, Austin Pope, we'll see. Um, they should be making a, f a final statement today. And we'll see. And we'll see how the parents and the players and the community respond to it. So we'll sit back and see. But y'all have a great day. I told y'all. Gotcha. Dun, 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 dun. Gotcha. Hopefully nobody was harmed in the making of this prediction. Actually, it was a hypothesis. It wasn't even a hypothesis. It was a premonition. <laughs> gotcha.